and welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a video. Um, life's been kind of crazy. Hit that subscribe button for me right now. This video, I'm going to show you all how I prep my unit. Um, I made this wig with some hair that I got from her hair company. And when I say prep, I don't really mean the deletion of the knots or the tinting of the lace. I mean from that point until you're ready to throw that wig on. Um, that includes layering it curling it, just getting it ready to wear because the point of a wig is to really just to throw that bad boy on and keep it moving so if you want to see how i prepped this unit and got it all customized all that kind of jazz just keep watching okay so boom we're here exhibit a this is what you get after you've tinted your lace bleach the knots you know you started your I'm not gonna say basic but your average customization process but this is not where you stop this is where you begin you see the parting here is just kind of really dense it's not really you know together we're gonna fix that from here on out this is where you really get into the nitty-gritty of customizing your wig to look like those IG models what lace looking like it's grown from your scalp type of wig Alright, so now it's time to pluck this bad boy, okay? I cannot reiterate enough how important it is to take your time. You don't want to over pluck your part because number one, that's going to be a waste of your money because you didn't mess up this closure or frontal that, you're, that you bought. Um, so yeah, take your time. Don't rush into it. You're going to be here for a while. So just go ahead and get a little comfortable. Just pluck, pluck, pluck. And I'm really sorry that my hand was kind of blocking your view. Charge it to the game and not my heart, okay? Thanks okay so we're here and we're still plucky making a little bit of progress but this is a closure it is not a frontal and as you can see right here i'm parting and i'm gonna go in and just pluck some more um i'm kind of customizing like you can see some people do when they have their frontals um mainly because i want this wig to look as natural as possible and if you see before it was just so dense and so full and that's not natural at all like your hairline isn't a hundred percent full from the front of your forehead all the way back it's just not how hair works so yeah i'm just plucking 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 to get this thing as natural and realistic as possible So I hope your plucking is going well. As you can see, you know, you're still plucking, but if you want that wig to look like nothing but scalp, you know, you gotta put some time into it. Like I said before, you gotta take your time. It's better to underpluck and kind of gradually get to where you wanna go as opposed to going there and doing the most and now you're looking like what's the When I see like the end is near and it's looking how I want it to look, I like to kind of set and prep the wig ledge, if that's so even a word, with some mousse and just smoothing that out, you know, to kind of tame the flyaway, just to get it as flat as we can get. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. Um, this is the finished result of all this plucking that I've done. I am going to pluck it some more probably when I put it on, so I didn't want to over pluck as I've been stressing in this video so yeah now we're gonna go on to the fun part layering and getting this wig even more together okay so now it's time for some layers you can either use a comb razor thingamajig or just a regular razor I will use the comb if I was a beginner because it's probably gonna be a lot easier but I'm just gonna go in with the regular razor um, I want some long layers so I'm gonna start toward the bottom and work my way down if you want it shorter layers you would you know put that razor a little higher up and work your way down but like I said before, I just want some long layers I'm not a professional this method works for me um, I usually like to just kind of layer it to kind of give it a little life and body because you know you make a wig and it's all the same length it just doesn't have movement it's just very blah and we don't want blah we want popping all right I know you're probably wondering like why she's only working on this 
left side but for the sake of time I didn't want to show you guys like me doing the entire thing because this video will probably be like 25 minutes long so yeah I'm just working on this one side taking my time working in sections because like I said I'm not professional and I don't want to mess this up so it's all layered up how I want it and now it's time to curl because we're not done yet we're, we're not done curling your hair on your wig stand will save your arm so much stress trust me believe me do it okay I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out but ever since I have it's literally changed the game So to get some volume in the front, you know, like that, run your fingers through it and it's just bouncing and flowy, you're going to flat iron your hair to the back. That's how you get like the push forward, like I know Javel does a lot of her videos, like the kind of flowy, popping, front bang-esque type of vibe. That's how you get it and I go ahead and just do all of this on my wig stand because it saves me so much time and my arm always thanks me. Listen, getting a wig to look how you want it to look just takes time. And yes, I'm in my bonnet because this was a day process. It takes, you know, it takes a while. But once you get the hang of it, I promise, like, it'll come second nature to you. Alright, so there we have it. This is, this is it. She's all done. Um, when I put the wig on, I'd probably make even more adjustments. Um, but that's when you really can get it, you know. To look in its final form but as of right now this is it this is how I prep all of my wigs um and yeah thanks for watching and please comment below for any more videos that you would like to see